All right, here we go. We're gonna, going to be testing for lead. It's a very simple, easy process. I got my lead test kits, got multiple uh, tests in it. So we've got um, multiple swabs. These swabs are very simple, easy to use. There's two vials inside of them. Break two vials, shake it up. The liquid's gonna work itself to the end of the swab and you're gonna use that to do your testing. It says right here, there's an A and B port where you gotta press it to crush it. I've got a cabinet door. This is in um, one side of our duplex. There's different cabinets in the other side that look like they're newer, but I'm just gonna make a scratch you know, on this door, get down, cut through multiple layers of paint. We can definitely fill that with Bondo, but I can see I've got a white layer, green layer, mustard layer, and then this kind of off-white layer. I've removed a hinge where I can test around there. Um, that's pretty close to bare, bare wood, if not bare wood. So if I did end up sanding down to bare wood, I um, would know whether I got lead-based paint. Simple and easy, gonna crush both of these right here, gonna shake it up. It's kind of a, um, kind of a tan or yellow looking liquid right there. All it does, you're gonna dab it on the liquid. If it turns red or pink, you definitely got a positive test. You're gonna to wanna to swab it. It'll start to work its way down because you gotta to get to the liquid down to the end of the swab. And now I can see it's starting to come through and it's a mustard yellow looking liquid. I'm gonna rub that liquid around and see if I've got a positive test. I can see it's wet right there and it's gonna turn instantly turn red. It'll rapidly do it and you're gonna know whether it's positive. So it's still, still mustard yellow. The whole swab where that liquid would be would be a pink. So there's nothing on here. I'm gonna rub it all around. You can use multiple swabs if you need to. Once again, this is cut all the way down to the bare wood and it's still kind of a mustard yellow. If you can pull it out, this is what the liquid color is gonna look like and it's gonna turn really pink or really red instantly if there's lead. So I'm doing my test, rubbing it around. Now, one thing you wanna do, if your test has a um, validation card right here, one final step. So I've rubbed around this liquid on here. You can see kind of this mustard yellow, I'll give you a close up look of that and that kind of yellow mustardy color. If that doesn't turn red or pink instantly, there is a validation card right here to make sure your test is working. If that does come with your test, you definitely wanna use that card because um, maybe the, the um, swab itself is not working, but I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna rub that on my validation card and you can see it's turning pink on the validation card and that means my test is actually good. That's what you would actually see right there, red or pink, if you had a positive test. So now I know that this test swab is working because um, of the validation card. The test swab was working when I used it on my cabinet door. And once again, I've got a, a safe surface to be sanding. No lead in my cabinets, uh, 1950s remodel. Now I know that I can sand, mechanically sand, do as much sanding as I want or need. And I'm not gonna be breathing any type of hazardous materials. They are lead test kit right here. Very fast, simple, and easy to use. You can use them on interior, exterior paints. It's always good to know before you do any scraping or sanding. And also check EPA regulations because there's major fines. Um, you know, I, I, there's a painter here locally that got fined over $60,000 know, for violating EPA regulations and derby, disturbing lead and not abiding by EPA rules and regulations when it comes to working on, a, uh, on an exterior uh, and um, that has lead in the paint. So simple, easy test. If you've got another method that you use for testing lead, just leave it down in the comment section below. These um, lead test kits, you can find them at Paint Life Supply Co. They're very inexpensive to do. It's an added um, add-on you can do on your interior and exterior painting for a customer, or you can even just do it as a service to charge um, customers that wanna know, you know for themselves whether they got lead-based paint around the house because if they got children, stuff like that. Anyways, there you go. Uh, lead base paint test kit. 
If you got, or if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you got any questions or comment, leave it down in the section, comment section below. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, that way you get notified every time we come out with a new video. Like we always say, we'll see you next time right here on Paint Life TV, out.